act soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief that thou, a maid, are far more fair than she. It is my lady, oh, it is my love, oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses, I will answer it. I am too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heaven, having some business, do entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there, they in her head? The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as daylight doth a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. Ay, me. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night, being o'er my head, as is a winged messenger of heaven, unto the white, upturned, wondering eyes of mortals that fall back to gaze on him when he bestrides the lazy puffing clouds and sails upon the bosom of the air. O oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not be but sworn my love and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak of this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thou self, though not Montague. What's Montague? Tis no hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection that he owes without that title. Romeo doff thy name. And for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy words. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. What man art thou, that thus be screened in night, hast so stumblest upon my counsel? By a name I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself, because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of thy tongue's uttering, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either thee dislike. How canst thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are hard to climb, and the place death considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings did I o'erperch these walls, for stony limits cannot hold love out. And what love can do, that dares love attempt. Therefore thy kinsmen are no stop to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. Look. Thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enmity. I would not for the world that they saw thee here. I have night's cloak to hide me from their eyes. And but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death proroguing and wanting of thy love. By whose direction found'st thou out this place? By love, that first did prompt me to inquire. 
He lent me counsel, and I lent him eyes. I am no pilot, yet wert thou as far as the vast shore washed with the farthest sea, I should adventure for such merchandise. Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face, else would a maiden blush bepaint my cheek for that which thou hast heard me speak tonight. Fain would I dwell on form, fain, fain deny what I have spoke. But farewell compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word. But if thou swearest, thou make me false. At lovers' perjuries, they say Jove laughs. O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou thinks I am too quickly won, I'll frown and be perverse to say thee nay, so thou wilt woo. Else, not for the world. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond. And therefore thou may think my behaviour light. But trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more cunning to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess. But that thou overhearst, ere I was where, my true love passion. Therefore pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love that the dark night hath so discovered. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I vow that tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. Swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. Or if thou wilt, swear by thy gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I believe thee. If my heart, dear love... Well, do not swear. Although I joy in thee, I have no joy in this contract tonight. It is too rash, too unadvised, too sudden, to like the lightning which doth seem to be, ere one can say it lightens. Sweet, good night. This bud of love, by summer's ripening breath, may prove a beauteous flower when next we meet. Good night. Good night, as sweet repose and rest. Come to thy heart, as that within my breast. Oh, wilt thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it. And yet I would it work to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? But to be frank and give it thee again. And yet I wish but for the thing I have. My bounty is as boundless as the sea, my love as deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have, for both are infinite. I hear some noise within. Sweet love, adieu. Madam! Anon, good nurse! Sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little, and I'll come again. Blessed, blessed night. I am afeard, being in night, all this is but a dream. Too flattering sweet to be substantial. Three words, Montague. Romeo, and good night indeed. If thy bent of love be honourable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow by one that I'll procure to come to thee, where and what time thou wilt perform the rite. Then all my fortunes at thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. Madam! I come anon! But, if thou meanst not well, I do beseech thee. Madam! By and by I come! To cease thy strife, and leave me to my grief. Tomorrow will I send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times, good night. A thousand times the worse to want thy light. Yes, Romeo. 
it is my sweet soul that calls upon my name. How silver sweet sound lovers' tongues by night, like softest music to attending ears. Romeo. My Nias. What o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? By the hour of nine. I will not fail. It is twenty years till then. I have forgot why I did call thee back. Let me stand here till thou remember it. I shall forget to have thee still stand there remembering how I love thy company. And I'll still stay to have thee still forget, forgetting any other home but this. It is almost morning. I would have thee gone. And yet no farther than a wanton's bird that lets it hop a little from his hand, like a poor prisoner in his twisted jives. Then, with a silken thread, plucks it back again, so loving, jealous of his liberty. I would I were thy bird. Sweet, so would I. Yet I should kill thee with much cherishing. Good night, good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep and peace so sweet to rest. Thank you.